Luique from Paris, France writes to me, Paul, after a few hours of listening, I sometimes feel worn out, even when the music isn't particularly loud. It's not always obvious at first, but eventually my ears just want a break. I've started to wonder, is this what people mean by listening fatigue? What causes it? Is it harmonic distortion, poor synergy between components, or maybe even room acoustics? I want a system I can listen to for hours without discomfort. What should I be paying attention to when trying to diagnose or avoid listening fatigue? Well, all you got to do is just get this system. Ain't no fatigue here. You can listen for hours. And you know what? <laughs> People do. Oh, my goodness. We, we're our poor sales guys. We've got Caleb and Chris and James uh, and Taylor. Uh, you know, um, the <laughs> Aaron, those poor guys. A tour comes in, and we encourage people to come and, and have a listen because this is an extraordinary experience that most people never get to to have. And so, two to three tours a day, people come in. Paul said, come on down. <laughs> we walk people around and they have a job to do and it's hard because they want to spend hours in here. So what we've been doing is like giving them a quick tour around the place, setting them down, let, let them play and go back to work. And then when they're done, they come out and get us. Okay. People can spend and do spend literally hours in here. There's no fatigue. You just want more and more. It's like drugs, right? But there are a number of systems, systems that I've owned in the past that are fatiguing. And fatigue comes from too much of the same thing at the same time. So compression. If you lack dynamic range over time, a constant will get you, compre uh, will, will get you fatigued. OK, and, and, you, and think about it. If you constantly hear the same thing over and over or the noise level is just constant after a while, like stop, it's too much. But little doses of this and that, you can do that for a long time. So dynamics has a lot to do with it. And many systems, most systems are compressed. And that's a function of the loudspeakers and the electronics. When I am auditioning new circuit topologies, when we worked on the PMG series, when we first designed the BHK series, first thing I listen for is just an openness and naturalness to the music. The second thing I listen for is compression. When it gets loud, if it starts going like this, which 90% of the systems I have ever heard in the world do that. As it gets loud, it gets compressed. And then it opens back up as it gets soft. And the holy grail for a loudspeaker system, for a stereo system, whether it's the little, you know, FR5-ish kind of speakers or your whatever you have, head, whatever it is, the holy grail is uninhibited dynamics. As it gets louder, it just gets louder. It doesn't start compressing and you're going, Rah! you want it just like, whoa, where is this going? That's really hard to do. It's hard to do because electronics have only a small window of linearity. Same with speakers. That's why we focus on headroom. Headroom is critical. That's why we recommend amplifiers 600 watt amp here. This speaker doesn't need 600 watts. Your speaker doesn't need 600 watts. No speaker needs 600 watts. It's crazy, but it has headroom. If we're using 100 maybe at the loudest point in this room, maybe that's 100, it's loafing. Think of your car. You're going up a hill like my little Tesla. That sucker goes up a hill. If I want to go faster, I just step on the gas. It just goes faster. My VW before, you know, so headroom critical. That's the biggest 
cause of fatigue that I know of. The second biggest cause of fatigue is the tweeter. Oh my goodness. We hear detail. We love to hear detail. But when you have the dome tweeters that we're all kind of familiar with, that give you good detail, but after a while they can become fatiguing because they just do. Just They just do. It's one of the reasons we went with the planar, tw oops, it's down here. I always forget, he mixes those up. So the, the tweeter, the planar tweeters, magna planers have great tweeters. These have great tweeters. Anything with a planar tweeter won't have any fatigue associated with it if it's designed properly. Just won't. But they're rare. Most have uh, dome tweeters. And not all dome tweeters are fatiguing. I don't mean to suggest that, but many, many are. Most are, but not all. So anyway, tweeters, mid-ranges that are fatiguing, and compression, that lack of dynamic range, that lack of headroom. So. I have babbled on long enough. I will see you tomorrow.